women have abducted students of the Federal College of Forestry Mechanism in Mando area of Kaduna State. <laughs> According to the BBC, a witness said half of the female students were taken, but not a single male was abducted. Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs Samuel Arua has confirmed the incident, saying investigation is going on. <laughs> you can imagine. You can imagine. No wonder the U.S. is is worried. Everybody is worried. And when we have been hearing some information that uh, they are planning to come to the south, some people are giving it the news out as a, a way of for prophesying or prophet, you know, uh, prophesying or living prophecy concerning that they say, oh, you don't know what he's talking about or the man doesn't know what he's saying. Whichever way, like I said, we don't even need the soothsayer to tell us exactly what is happening or what to happen or what can really happen. We can see. But the problem with all this, our leader, is that they are reactive. They are not proactive. They are they react when things must have happened. But when they they will get information, they will not even make use of it. But if it's, if people want to protest now, you begin to hear from DSS. Oh, we cannot fold our hands. Some unscrupulous elements. They want to do this. They want to do that. Well, it will happen and it will happen. It's not a big business. I think a worry said something like this two weeks ago or last week that it will never happen after the Zamfara or Niger State or Zamfara, which is, that it will never happen again. And even less than 24 hours, it happened and it's been happening uh, every day. So what do you have to say to all this? When these things have been happening, you know how many? I mean, you know, you know, the other time it was a uh, cheap guest, but now they were all uh, these uh, people like a uh, people like Lai Mohammed. They will come out and be telling you, you see how proactive Wari is since when that uh, Dabchi incident happened, and it's been happening. You can imagine within this year, how many, how many cases, just within this year, when something had happened before that, if really do you, you are serious about it, you would have prevented it. From not happening, but it's happening, and this year again, it's like that is what we're going to be hearing. The northern governors, as uh, over the years, have over the years encouraging them by negotiating with them, giving them more money to buy more ammunition. Now it is clear to them that they have lost control of them. And Buari said, bandits' operation by kidnapping students will never happen again. It's all right. The first lady fled for her life before she will be kidnapped as well. In other countries, when the president is taking a vaccine, the first lady is always there. Now, Oshibaju is now a new first lady. I thought Sebuari said Jankara was the last one in this country. This must be a profitable business to the north. No sane person will continue to adopt and release except ransom is being paid. Yet, the governors keep denying this. I hope they won't make out the nations until the end of this demonic administration. Well, over to Gumi, the mediator. Business as usual, rock on bandits when they promise there will be no kidnapping again. All are lie, lie, lie. Bad governments. Ah, will National Assembly leave this worry till 2023? With all this catastrophe in the country, yes, uh, uh, Nancy, they are not going to do anything about it. Absolutely, we are deceiving ourselves by saying one Nigeria Buari and his agents know what they are doing. Nigerians believe so much in noise, in noise making than action. So they can't even deploy security operatives to all schools in the north to avert this ugly occurrence. In criminology, crime prevention is better than crime control. The kind of battalion we see during election has ever been deployed or never been deployed to secure the lives and properties of the citizens. I feel bad for the innocent children, so the northerners are not ready to protest for their safety to be taken serious, but can protest to stop food and from coming to the south. It's okay. I pray for peace for them, Sha. Hunger, they say we kill us in the south, but your own people are killing you aggressively. Uh, wedding proposal alerts Nigeria, my country, business enterprise. Now, Konji, even bandits save the large problems. No, the finish. Business is becoming a is the business is booming. Uh, a do well. And Buari said last week that a kidnapping has ended. Nigerians urgently need bandit vaccine. It shall never be well with all the people that voted APC. 
the nuts and their senses, senses they think they are very wise okay <laughs> it's good they need wife every disappointment is a blessing thank god for bringing buari to power his emergence has shown nigerians the real plan of the fulanis and it has reshaped biafran struggle even those who never believe are in the forefront hailing biafra it's no longer news that the northerners are indirectly looting nigeria's treasury in the name of paying ransom to the bandits because they are afraid of what will become of them if nigeria break up over to you shegumi they should contact gumi of course no 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 he's going to say something and they have told you that uh, he's the one that we help the national security advisor has said gumi is the one that we help that they don't need mercenaries all those northern you will not say pim if it's about shasha crisis or or sunday or or their father show you will see the shouting like they will shouting like dog the north is happy the north is safe northern use unamumu no too much don't too much hmm. now the season we day no long thing i beg who know how to sell this country these bandits are really holding the nigerian government uh in the scotrum bandits totally made up of muslims and we are here uh calling Boko Haram bandits negotiating and giving them cash country of commotion we love you guys continue kidnapping the mumu governors they give you pocket money now until you people fight and free yourself from all these demons call northern governors you will continue to be in severe pain like fayoshi said buari bandits at work and gumi to the rescue hmm. they don't see wife buhari banditry and business of the 21st century is it is it's shameful it is really really shameful do you know petrol price is not 212 naira per liter of course of course good news for the zoological republic of nigeria business as usual this is what gumi and company started they should stop telling us about kidnapping from the northern part again because they now they know how to stop it latest business in the north people thought this kidnapping of students will never we ever stop no it can stop have you seen some one that venture into any good paying jobs and leave it just like that no the answer is no the best business now in that area is kidnapping of students and their brothers the presidents and others are paying them well paying them very very well mm -hmm. so guys let's say your opinion on this is this very very shameful and disgraceful